My name is Ashley Doolin Smith, and I teach environmental sustainability and societies. The first course that I took at Stone Lab was water and wildlife training for educators, where we spent a week and it was an experience. And from that experience, I met a ton of different teachers around the state. It pushed me out of my comfort zone. It was just um, pushed me to become a better educator. Our aquaponics systems that we have here, um, we have a varying array of them and it's kind of evolved over time. We start out the beginning of the year discussing the goal of this is not that these are class pets but they are here for purposes to help us grow food, how to be sustainable with our you know farming methods and also um, at the end of the year be able to see that cycle through. Students will take care of the fish throughout the year and it will grow our vegetables that we use in our recipes. We also use the worms from our vermicompost bins to feed our fish and then at the end of the year we harvest the fish that we have been raising so that they can see how those fish then complete that cycle of sustainability. Ashley just reached out and said she had a, a cool project going on where they were growing fish and, and they wanted to, to harvest them and asked if I'd be able to come down and help out. Uh, just show of hands, how many of you have caught a fish before? Most of you. How many of you have filleted a fish before? A couple. Okay, cool. So this would be a first time experience for most of you. That is awesome. You see this line? Yeah. That is actually the kidney. So see this end that you can hold on to? Yep. These are, so just be careful while you're skinning these and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Or you can cut right through the skin and accidentally leave some on your fillet. Kids are excited and they look forward to this day and they're given an experience that they've never had before. Many kids haven't ever caught a fish and if they have caught a fish, they've never learned to fillet a fish and then they see the process all the way through. We want them to know that Fish is a good, healthy protein source. It's fun to eat, fun to catch, and uh, even more rewarding when you can do it yourself. And you can, there you go. We give them this opportunity and they're so proud and they're excited. They go home, we hear from families all the time, like thank you for letting our kids do this. Those are the moments that we want to give them. You guys should be proud of yourself, okay? I know some of you guys came in and you're a little bit uneasy about it, maybe you're a little uncomfortable, but you did a great job. You guys got some great filet pieces. Um, tomorrow when you come in, we will um, have a little assembly line where you'll learn how to bread them and then we'll air fry them. I think it introduced me to a different way of learning sciences than just textbooks and assignments and doing that. It's really the hands-on that got me interested in the different ways that you can do science and do all of the projects and learning. It was really a good way for me to learn. As an educator, you want to give your kids the opportunity to do things that they've never done to have an impact on them. I always laugh because I tell the kids that like I have to be brave in these situations. This isn't something that is easy for me all the time and it wasn't the first time I did it. And to see their faces afterwards and they're like, I did it. It's like, yes, you did. And I'm so proud of you.